Hey there, winos. This is Vince.Wine. Wine tasting in Paso Robles this weekend. Let's do a vlog. Paper Street Vineyard Cuvée. This one's killer. Okay, but Price Myers was pretty fun. A little expensive for everyday drinking wines. I think that I would prefer a little more complexity. So the next spot should deliver. Okay, this is Adelaida, one of my all-time favorites. Super excited. Adelaida is always a lot of fun. For me, it's really about the Cabernet Sauvignon here. I know you don't really go to Paso for the cabs, you kind of come for the Rome varietals and Zinfandel for sure. Syrah, Grenache, Morvedra, and Cinso, and of course, Zins are killer here, but at Adelaida, oh, it's all about the cab. So good here. Definitely gotta give it a try. We are at Denim and um, they do have some really good cab and cab blends on the list, but then of course you get to those classic Paso Syrahs as well. And we actually started with a Viognier that's awesome. Oh, pretty killer. I just had to get a look at the view here at dinner. It's amazing. Check this area out. It's really beautiful. Come on. of the day, you know, Paso Robles, whether winter or summer, is always gorgeous. Now, I'm used to being here in the 120 degree weather and, you know, super hot and gorgeous, lush vineyard. And today you can see the vineyard is um, mostly a winter vineyard. It's uh, all dry and then some pretty yellow leaves and over here, some beautiful red leaves. Look at the gorgeous color on that. It's just always a great time to enjoy some wine tasting. I'm currently drinking a Syrah that has 3% Roussan in there, and um, I'm really enjoying it. Denner's wines are, are very well made. Are they my favorite here? So far, it has been my favorite, but they're all really drinkable, super well made. But no matter what, I just can't get over this view. This is heaven. Little summer sausage, cheese and bread break before the next place. Look at this late harvest fruit, it's December. All right, I am wrapping it up at one of my favorite wineries. Every time I come here, I have to come to Jay Ducey. Uh, the last time I was here, I had a really great conversation with Janelle, the owner, and uh, she's just done some amazing work. She recently picked up the Paper Street label uh, from the Paper Street Vineyard that she purchased in about the last five years. This is your place to go for Zins and Zin Sarab blends. Now, I know that that's kind of all over Paso, but I really love the Zins and Zin blends from here, so great way to finish day one. Okay, day two this morning, waking up to a gorgeous view. Take a look at that, isn't that really beautiful? It's an awesome house that we rented uh, on the property of Ventu Winery. This is definitely one time that I do wish that we were here when the vineyard was nice and full. Look at that, that would have been so cool to see all these vines behind me, lush and pretty with fruit and all that. So we might have to come back and do this again in the summer. Um, we did pretty good last night. I think we came home and opened about uh, two or three bottles, maybe four, but um, looking forward to five or six more wineries today. Okay, we just got here to Delecta and I love the view. It's just so gorgeous here in Paso Robles area. And that's the tasting room back there, Delecta tasting room. So I'm really excited to see what they have to offer here. And I also just came from Turley. So I'll show you some of my spoils there. I didn't want to record because they were giving us such a great wine service and I didn't want to interrupt them, but I'll show you some of the amazing Zins that I got from there. Let's go try Delecta.
Okay, Delecta was a complete bust. I didn't even want to record in there. Unfortunately, I can't say I enjoyed any of the wines that I tasted, but we've got some saving grace. I am here now at Tablas Creek, one of my all-time favorites. You know, the one thing I gotta tell you is all of these wines have so much finesse. This is where you're gonna come for wines of pure elegance. Every single wine that I tasted here was so well-crafted and it was a, a lovely, elegant style wine. There's no zin to be found here. This is where you're coming for your Grenache, Syrah, Morvedra, pure Rhone style varietals, and more, Tanat, Peak Pool, Cinso, and for the whites, of course, Viognier, Marsan, Roussan. Tablas Creek, you're always gonna have a fantastic time. Lovely setting out here at their tasting rooms. Great view, uh, even some fun animals along the way. Uh, great place to have a picnic. I'm just about to start enjoying mine, but um, you know, some were hit and miss for me, uh, but I have to say, everything was so well made and I'm gonna sit here and enjoy some of my Grenache and Syrah blend here. So these last two stops are definitely winners for me. It's, it's wineries that I visit all the time. I'm here at the beautiful vineyard at Kukula. This is one of my top three all-time favorite Paso Robles wineries. I love Kukula. Beautiful little entryway too. I always love coming across this little bridge here to the tasting room. Okay, so I just walked out with a case of wine from Kukula. I just always love it here. Their Lothario is one of my absolute favorites. That's a wine that's changing soon thus far as the varietals in it. Uh, they're pulling out Zinfandel uh, from that. But uh, otherwise, I mean, every single thing I taste here, these are wines of finesse. And I know I've said that about Tablas Creek, but I really mean that about here as well. They are so light body, yet so much depth of flavor. Check out this really cool Finnish producer um, here. Uh, Google it. This has been the end of day two here at Ventu Winery, a fantastic way to end the night. These wines are much more clunky and just rich and chewy, and uh, that's kind of what you want sometimes after all these wines of finesse. Uh, you're always gonna have a good time at Ventu. End of day two. Okay, this is day three and we have got an extremely foggy day to start with here. So it's just continues to be so funny because I'm just used to being in Paso when it's, you know, 110 degree weather during the summer. This is the, really the first time I've gone in a winter time. So it's the week before Christmas and it's so beautiful. It really is gorgeous, a completely different experience. And I kind of like being co colder rather than warmer. Um, the only thing is, again, just those uh, vineyards I wish were lush. I do miss that part of this. But last night there was some gorgeous golden hour um, I'll try to get a couple photos of, of the vineyard just sort of glowing like a reddish, goldish yellow. Really beautiful. Um, still some fall leaves on there. So it's, it's always a great time of year to come out here. Plus it's off season. So, you know, you get a lot of really good attention and kind of the whole place to yourself. We're going to hit four places today. And one of them is one of my top three favorites in the region, Herman's Story. So let's go taste some wine. Okay, first stop of the day, Onyx, or ONX, I'm not sure yet. Um, the tasting room looks super, super cool. I'm really excited to see what these wines are like. Let's go taste. I'm really 
really enjoying all its wines. These are all wines made in the Templeton Gap, much cooler region, leads you to a little bit of a different style than you usually see in Paso. I am here now at Herman Story Wines. This is absolutely one of my all-time favorite stops. So my top three Paso Robles wineries are Kukula, J. Ducey, and Herman Story. This place, the, the, the people who pour here are so fun. They love what they do. They have a great time. The winemaker is uh, pretty eccentric. He's awesome. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure I have a poster of him in his underwear. Uh, that he's autographed for me. So uh, he's just an awesome guy and all of his wines, they're very different. Tons of new French oak on them, uh, big weighty wines, but even this is a Grenache that's been on its skins and stems for 419 days. I mean, he makes all his wines to be so unique and I love Herman's story. Gotta check this place out, super fun. We continue to have, we being my manager and I, continue to have a great, beautiful day. Look at this wonderful, wonderful weather, as cold as it is. It's just always so gorgeous out here. We're gonna make one of our last two stops here. We're gonna be at Kaliza, and Kaliza Winery is actually pouring uh, next with Booker, I believe. They're right next to each other. So, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's Booker and my favorite neighbor are gonna be right next to each other. They're sharing a tasting room. First, we're gonna do Kaliza, then we'll walk right over. Oh, I'm really looking forward to these wines. Let's go check them out. Literally out of one driveway over at Kaliza into the very next driveway over at Booker. We probably could have walked, but let's go taste my favorite neighbor and Booker. Really excited for Booker. Okay, this is easily one of the coolest tasting rooms that we've been in all weekend. So here's our view, typical view, but man, look at this cool hangout space we have here. All the doors are open there. We got a fire pit area and I'm gonna go ahead and head inside. hanging out over here at this space. Isn't this cool? I just can't help myself. Coolest tasting room I've been in all day. I love it here. So the wines that I really wanted from my favorite neighbor were the 100% cabs. They're all different vineyard, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, and uh, one was from Denner, one was from Parish Vineyard. Really, really fantastic wines, but they're all $80 each, and there's no discount in being a member. So uh, the Booker wines are all kind of pricey too, and uh, the same, not a lot of discounts on the membership side. So my recommendation is just come here for the super awesome tasting room. It is so beautiful, and you're gonna enjoy everything you taste. Take a look at what's right in front of me. All I did was just flip the camera I'm still in the same spot this is just absolutely lovely I, I, I can't I said it again and again and again this is just one of the most stunning tasting rooms that I've been to this entire time that's the room that I was sitting in just in there um, absolutely gorgeous here I'll come with me back to the tasting room look at this and then look at that view out there isn't that gorgeous Nice little seating area right out here. Totally love this. And then uh, I'll head back into where I was tasting. Just oh, such a cool space. 